Today I'll be reviewing Boruto episode 60, The Hidden Leaf versus The Hidden Sand. So this episode was great. I don't know. It was a great episode to me. So tournament arcs are my probably my favorite shonen anime trope because almost all my favorite arcs in anime have a tournament or some sort of competition involved. And this arc is probably my favorite arc in Boruto so far. In the anime at least. So in this episode, we got Sarada versus Araya, Mitsuki versus Shinki, and I don't know, I was kind of expecting Mitsuki to pull something like that since Orochimaru basically, basically said, yeah, you can't have this great fight because it's too early to find out, it's too early for Boruto to find out that he's actually way weaker than Mitsuki. And that's basically what we got. So in the beginning of the episode, we see everyone cheering Sarada as she's entering the arena. And Mitsuki and Inojin are quick to point out that, that he doesn't act like a normal human. But Sarada is like, I'm going to be Hokage, so I got this. But the real reason not to be stressed is because she's an Uchiha. So then in her fight, we see her use the Sharingan gun in action, but Araya was just slicing her up anyway. And I was really expecting big things from Araya. Like how he turned out in the end, I wasn't expecting that at all, so... First we see that Sarada's genjutsu doesn't work on him and he's just able to cut her up without even taking any damage. But something felt weird when the genjutsu didn't work on him. I'm thinking maybe, I thought he, maybe he was blind and that's why he wore a mask. But then it all gets revealed after Sarada uses the lightning ball jutsu which he probably picked up from Bhutan. One of the new 7 ninja swordsmen that she fought on during the school trip arc. And Araya basically gets exposed because he was hiding on top of the stadium. And Naruto's like, isn't he disqualified for leaving? And Shikamaru's like, well, he never left. He was there the whole time. So it's all fine. She also, well, we also find out that he's actually just like metal. And he's like, he gets in anxiety when he's in front of people. So Sarada was able to figure out that he didn't react like a human. So she attacked up there. She also remembered that the Hidden Sand are masters of puppet jutsu, or at least some of them are. She also realized that he wanted to end the fight quickly instead of dragging it out, which would have made more sense. So he didn't really do as much research as he thought he did, and Sarda's an Uchiha genius. And like I was saying in my last review, she doesn't have to stress at all because she's an Uchiha. Absolutely zero stress. If Obito could go from being a goofball like Naruto and because he had a Sharingan turned into the main one of the main antagonists of Naruto Shippuden anything can happen with the Sharingan so right about so right as Araya is about to quit Shinki just says his name and just straightens him out completely she's like nah Shinki's going to probably kill me later if I don't try to fight this so he tries to attack but Sarada uses the fireball jutsu to burn him to an absolute crisp like damn, the first time we're seeing it, and she pretty much burned her, burnt his puppet completely. So I'm not sure if I can absolutely say this with 100% certainty, but it looks like her fireball jutsu is way stronger, stronger than what Sasuke's was back in the day. So after that, we get Mitsuki's fight, and right from the beginning, it feels like they cut some of it out. I don't know if any of you got the feeling that that happened too, because I watched it and I was like, hold up, did they jump to something? Because we see Mitsuki fighting immediately. We don't get any stare down or anything. Rock Lee's just like begin and then it just jumps to Mitsuki's face using a jutsu. But let me know in the comment section below if it feels like that was kind of cut out. So the fight has barely gotten started and Mitsu and Shinki is already talking smack and asks Mitsuki if he's going to pull a pigeon out after seeing him use the snake jutsu. And then he uses the sand burial on Mitsuki but he doesn't actually say it because... They never use hand signs or say their jutsu anymore because it's not required when you're OP. Gara also says in, the, in this fight that he, sh that he taught Shinki everything he knew. And as the fight continues, we see exactly how skilled Shinki is because he's able to control the Iron Sand freely. And this is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see how strong the Iron Sand jutsu was. And we definitely saw it in this fight with Mitsuki because Mitsuki thinks that he got the Iron Sand to disappear. But Shinki just moved it around and creates a glove and knocks the wind out of Mitsuki. And then Shinki says that he marked Mitsuki with the iron sand. And then he forms a spear to strike him with. And Mitsuki's thinking about if, she, if he should use sage mode. But then remembers back to what Orochimaru said to him. Because if he shows it, he has to leave. And if he leaves, he can't be Boruto's moon because Boruto's the sun. 
So he decides to give up, and Rock Lee's like, are you sure? Sure you don't want to get revenge for metal for me? So that ends their match. What could have been a really good match, but we did get to see the mag his Shinky's magnet release, and that's what I wanted to see. I said that a few episodes ago, and we got it, so I can't be mad. So after that, Miski questions if he could have even beat him with Sage Mode out, and that's a very good question, because... We haven't seen Miski do much with the Sage Mode. We do. We what we saw was him. He was able to get past Orochimaru without Orochimaru even sensing him. Then he was able to escape with the scroll. So I'm not sure how we. Ha I want to see him in an actual fight with his Sage Mode. We've seen Shinki now, but we haven't seen Miski fully. We know how strong Sage Mode could be because we've seen Naruto, but we haven't seen anyone else use it. So I'm wondering when Mitsuki is going to reveal to reveal to them that they have that he has sage mode. Hopefully, I think he may do it soon in the manga chapter, but you know, I'd have to wait until a chapter actually comes out to determine that. So, moving on, next up is the finals with Boruto, Sarada, and Shinki. I'm so glad they added these extra matches and that Boruto hasn't been exposed yet cuz now we'll get to see Shinki San, or rather his magnet release, versus Sarada Sharingan. So this is going to be great. This is probably the best thing the anime has done so far. And this is without a doubt my favorite arc in the anime so far. So after mourning their loss, Shikadai asks Moegi if he's lacking something. Because Shikadai is already thinking ahead of how he could beat Boruto next time. And I love his way of thinking because it really sets him apart from Shikamaru who didn't have a competitive bone in his body. I like seeing how Shikadai wants to improve by choice, which will probably lead to him surpassing Shikamaru. And this makes sense because the theme of Naruto is the new generation surpasses the last, and we are slowly seeing how and why Shikadai will probably surpass Shikamaru. And I like how I also like how all, while all this thinking is going on, Inojin orders ep extra food, and Moegi looks like she's about to go completely broke. But moving on, after that we see Sakura healing Sarada, and she asks when so Sarada learned the Fireball Jutsu. And she says that she got Sasuke to teach it to her, and I would have loved to see that animated, because it would have been very nostalgic to when Sasuke's dad taught it to him. Sarada always also asks when Sasuke's coming home, but Sakura just says that he comes home late at night sometimes, every once in a while, which, which is pretty much implying that he comes around when he needs to, if you know what I mean. So this means we may have another Uchiha child in the future. But jokes aside, after that we get to one of my, probably my second favorite or third favorite moment in, in the episode. I liked a lot of moments in this episode. So after that we see Sasuke showing Boruto the Chidori. And Boruto wants to learn it too, but Sasuke says he needs the Sharingan. And Sasuke says the reason he showed it to him was so that he could learn his own powerful lightning style jutsu. But first has to practice the hand signs, which we stop seeing a lot of. Because like I said before, if you're OP, you don't even need to wave hand signs. After that, we see Sasuke tell Boruto the story of his life and how he wanted power and would do anything for it, but paid dearly. But he was saved by a friend, aka Naruto. And Boruto got what Sasuke was trying to say immediately. And says that friends are important and that he's all good when it comes to that because he has great friends. So Sasuke was implying that the guy, or aka him, wouldn't have been able to be saved if he didn't have a great friend. And Boruto basically says that he's all good when it comes to that because of all the friends he has. Which divides him from Sasuke because Sasuke didn't believe in Naruto, or anyone for that matter, when he wanted power. So I think they've done a good job dividing Boruto from Sasuke, not so much Naruto, but with Sasuke they've done a really good job while at the same time showing their similarities. It would be pretty cool to see if with Boruto's Jogon, he may be able to pick up something similar to the Chidori, but we'll have to wait and see how that would play out. So I loved it. This episode was really good. This is probably the best anime movie adaptation I've seen so far. I'm happy with all the changes and all the extra they've added, but let me know what you think thought of this episode in the comment section below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and bye.